Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And do you remember a uh, high school musical? Some of you uh, young TikTok whippersnappers might be uh, too young to remember the good old days of high school musicals, but uh, I remember. Pepperidge Farms remembers. But Pepperidge Farm ain't just gonna keep it to Pepperidge Farm sell free of charge. And uh, guess what? Vanessa Hudgens just did a house tour. So as a real estate agent myself, uh, who knows the LA market, I'm gonna critique her home and give you my honest thoughts about how she lives with this video here titled, Inside Vanessa Hudgens Enchanting L.A.Home. Wait for it, Architectural Digest. So with that said guys, let's destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm and uh, once that's done, once it's done, once you smash that. Okay, thank you guys so much. And now with that said, let's begin. Hey, AD, I'm Vanessa Hudgens. Welcome to my home. Come on in. You know what's crazy? Uh, I think she's like 32 years old now. She looks exactly the same after like 15 years. Uh, let's see, Vanessa Hudgens, high school musical. Okay, let's see. Let's see what she, like, yeah, basically she didn't age. She's like, yeah, literally she looks the exact same. I think it's something with money. Like once you have like 10 million bucks, you just, you just stop aging. Just the aging process doesn't apply to you anymore because money just propels it. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, she looks the same. That's good, good genetics. Or uh, a good doctor, I don't know. Oh man, right off the bat, this, this house is spectacular. Like, I love it. I, I've seen like, kind of not a whole tour, but like we've seen pictures. This this is probably, I kid you not, it sounds like I'm exaggerating here. Probably one of the most eloquent, just sophisticated houses that I've seen that looks really good. L let's, let's continue though. So this is the Little DeMille. It was built by Cecil B. DeMille for his mistress. Therefore, this is the Little DeMille. <laughs> All right, I think I know where this might be. Uh, let me see. Uh, all right, yeah, so as a real estate agent, I'm very familiar with the area that she's living in. I, I thought it was this area based on uh, that name, but basically it's this incredible, like gated community within the entire city. You would have no idea this place even exists. And uh, every single house was built with this sort of character and charm. A lot of them back in the early 1900s. And this, you could tell by the foliage, just how many years, decades at this point, it's taken to achieve this sort of mature landscape look. It's incredible. This is the living space. Got the pe- Oh, wow, look at the greenery. I love that. And it looks, I can't tell if this is fake or real. Either way, just, the amount of light that this house gets, the warmth it gets, the design is perfect, the greenery is perfect. Everything about this house to me is a 10 out of 10. Got the piano, which doesn't really get used that often. Oh, it's so out of tune. I can't believe she'd have that nice of a piano. It's just da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na. It just, it, it sounds bad. And it, she, it just needs a quick tune, that's all. French and vibey, there's olive trees everywhere. So I really wanted to play into that with the space. And I wanted it just to be really like casual. And wow, who did she have designed this? To me, this design is perfect. Look at, look at the old floors. Ugh. Everything about this, I bet this is like a restoration. I don't think you could replace floors. They would make them too perfect now. Just, I love it. I'm obsessed with this. It's this artist named Peter Tomka. He does these projection silver gelatin prints and it's his friend from high school. She wrote a murder mystery play and this was a shot that he got from it. That's so cool and she knows the story behind all of this. Yeah, I just get a piece of art and hang it up just because it looks cool. I, I don't know about the stories behind it. I'm always like, yeah, kind of fits with the spot. I'd be good with that, but this is just, the fact that she knows a lot of the history behind it, it makes it that much cooler that everything she does has a bit of a story to it. I love big plants. I think it's so important to just bring life into your home. As you can see, my Monstera is doing very well. And we just love big, big bouquets, my friend. Wow, is that real? How often do you have to switch that out? You got like maple leaves on there. That's incredible. That looks good. The floors were a big selling point for me when I saw this house. Gary Oldman lived here before me and he put these in. They're 18th century French oak from an old chapel in Europe. Wow, oh man. Imagine to have that sort of money where it's like, yeah, let, let's get that French chapel over there. We'll take it from over there and we'll put it here so I could step on it. 
on my floors. Some air, which is so necessary in LA. My little breakfast nook that I'm very proud of. Oh man, everything is designed so well. I love the uh, the wallpaper on this. Some people might not like it. It reminds me very like, kind of feels like a tropical 1920s Hawaiian vibe. I don't know, I like it. We normally just end up dancing around the table. <laughs> Ends up being a great dance floor. Oh man, see, I look at this and this is something, I, I want this house. I, I don't think I've ever said that before in a house. This house to me is, uh, is perfect, everything. And this tile is actually leftover tile from the remodel of my bathroom, and it was sitting in the basement, and I was like, that would work perfectly. <laughs> it looks cool, I love the black with the gold accents like that. It really makes it stand out. I just love quirky, unique things about homes, and this is definitely one of them. That's neat, look at that. I mean, you can't even see out of it. I, I think she's like five foot something, but uh, see, you can't even look at it. It's cool though. I wanted the table to kind of play off of the pattern of the floors. Once again, like 1950s Italian chandelier. Just keep it really organic. Gosh, she doesn't do acting. Just go and remodel places, go and do design. She's got a good knack for it. This space, this is by an artist named Cater Boley. He was born in Africa and moved to Paris when he was like 20 to pursue his dream. His stuff's just so cool. This piece- hey, Look, everything has a story to it. That one is creepy though. That looks, oh, oh, I would not want that. I would not want that when I'm going to sleep at night. That, that one's spooky. How society wants to keep us inside of the box, but it's our jobs to be outside thinkers, which we support and love. Yeah, it looks kind of spooky. Like, like a, that looks like a rabbit monster. I don't want to think of rabbit monsters when I'm going to bed. For some reason, I just really fell in love with the idea of orange from my bedroom. So I got these velvet orange curtains. I like it. It's very colorful and uh, I like, it just, it, it feels very happy, you know? I'm obsessed with this quilt. It's from Nikki Kehoe and it's reversible. And I just love that it adds texture to the space. I feel like she should have done a, a, a back on that bed. I, I forget what they call it. Like one, one of the backs in the bed where it kind of goes up. I think, I think it's missing that. I don't know, it feels bare without that. These I had made, which I am just obsessed with these legs. A headboard, that's what it's called. It needs a headboard. That's a cool bathroom. I love that. I like, I want a bathroom like that. More candlesticks as you can see. Here's the marble that matches my bedside tables. And then these are also the tiles that I had so many extra of that I used as a backsplash in my kitchen. Looks great. I like, listen, I didn't think I'd like an all black bathroom. This works so well. Of course, everyone loves living in LA for the outdoor space, and this house does not disappoint. I got these wooden beams made to follow the curvature of the iron that was- Oh, I love this. This is the backyard that, for me, would be perfect. I like this. It, I wouldn't change a single thing on this. This is like the side door. I just love how the ivy's growing up it. The ivy over this house is one of my favorite things ever because when do you get a brick? Oh, look at that. She's got the flames and the lights. That's so cool. Gosh, to have the gas lines go up through all of that, that is just neat. One of my friends found this chair at a vintage store. I'm obsessed, especially because it plays into the murals I had painted outside. So when I moved in, this was just a white wall, and I was like, that seems like such a wasted opportunity for something really cool to happen. So I found this artist, Carly Kuhn, who does the coolest single line portraits. That is so cool. I like this. I really, I, I know I've said this a bajillion times, and we could have a counter every time I say that, but oh, I love this. This house to me is a 10 out of 10. I love it. Like, I love it. It's, it's perfect. So cool. I like, I want a bathroom like that. This, this house is spectacular. I love that. I like it. It's just neat. It's just really cool. It's different, but it's not so different that you're like, well, what is that? It's, it works. So this is the guest house. Originally was built as a carriage house and now it's just our hangout room, TV room. Oh man, that's nice. A guest house that looks like that. 
Man, that looks just as good as the main house. I've got my Annie Leibovitz, which she signed for me when I worked with her. My friends and I are t always taking photos. So we have like our vintage Polaroid. This is so well designed. Everything about this is, is perfect. It just looks good. It looks like this by itself is just its own centerpiece. So there's always some form of instrument in all the rooms. And then we have even more land. This massive tree is an avocado tree and it actually produces fruit. Oh, th think of all the money you could save. Avocados are so expensive at the stores. They're so expensive when you try to get them at like Chipotle or Subway. They charge like three, four dollars for an avocado. That's stupid. This you can get for free. There's just a lot of fruit. <laughs> I really wanted a place that you can just run around in and kind of feel like you have a park. We have water balloon fights out here. We do little photo shoots out here. Just run around. And Look at the privacy. That's rare to get in Los Angeles where you get like full shrubbery. Looks like a forest there. How much was, how much did she spend on this house? I'm curious. This to me looks like a $5 million house. Um, okay, so Oldman bought it for three million dollars, and she. Da, 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 da. Ah, look at that! Just under five million dollars. Yep. Yeah? See, I was right on the money, and I bet she probably put another, probably three hundred grand in this. Just may maybe more. I don't know how substantial of a renovation she did. She could. She. She's probably in it five and a half to five seven. And it's probably worth right now seven million, give or take maybe seven and a half. She did well. And it's so nice to have a space that's open in LA that just allows me and my friends to feel like big kids. I love this little arch entry we have into the secret garden. She doesn't really have that much in because I'm not in it all the time. <laughs> Gorgeous, look at it, it looks like a park. Like you'd pay, she should be charging for entry here. This is another thing I love about the house. Gas lanterns. They're by this company, Bevelo, from New Orleans. They've been around since like the 40s. And I just love when you go to New Orleans, that vibe is kind of spooky. So these lanterns really did it for me. <laughs> That is my home. Thank you, AD, so much for coming. Gosh, this is my favorite house. I think I've ever seen everything about this. Amazing. Man, this is the thing. It's like I'm not in Los Angeles. If, if we could transport this to Las Vegas and it would be $3 million, I, I, done. Sold. Like, I would buy it right now if, the, if this were three million in Las Vegas, even like three, two or what, whatever it is, you know, plus or minus. I love the house. She's got great style, really good flow, really good energy on this one. And uh, overall, I'm jealous. It's a great place. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram and on the podcast, The Iced Coffee Hour. New episodes being posted every single Sunday. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.